what the trial did show was that uh, treating to a systolic blood pressure less than 120 did uh, reduce uh, certainly the composite of, of cardiovascular outcomes of heart failure, of stroke, of heart attacks, of acute coronary syndrome and cardiovascular mortality uh, by 25 percent and reduced uh, mortality, total all-cause mortality by 27 percent. Probably one of the more important presentations, I think, uh, or studies in recent history. Tell us a little bit about uh, the unmet need in hypertension. Yeah, well, of course, we've known for a long time that strong relationship between blood pressure and risk, no threshold. We have a lot of people with high blood pressure. If you use the sort of classic definition of 140, 90, well over a billion. And as far as we know, high blood pressure is the most important risk factor for mortality, disability, adjusted life years worldwide. So big problem. We've known any hypertensive drug therapy reduces risk. We know a lot about the drugs. I think the really big unanswered question has been how low do we go uh, with systolic blood pressure? I think it's important to, for us to realize that this is the most positive blood pressure study that there's been in a long time. And what I hope will happen is, and it already has happened, bring blood pressure into the minds of the population uh, and the minds of providers, that it's very important. And you don't know what your blood pressure is until you have it measured, and you're not gonna be able to get it down unless you're treated with medications. Lifestyle is fine, and both of the arms of Sprint got lifestyle advice, but if your blood pressure is really up there, you need antihypertensive medications. We have the medications that work, but you need to select the proper medications in the proper combinations.